Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I hate your deck. I'm tapping out, you're like, what happened to two mana? Nothing. I am here to sow chaos, murder, and mayhem. <laughs> Ooh, fun. Got my big things ready. We all do agree that this is problematic. Risky, risky business. If you really want to support I Hate Your Deck, there's a lot of ways to help support us. Number one way is through Patreon. Patreon is a great place where you get to join our community. We have a Discord where we play a lot of magic with our friends. And there's such a community of people from around the world in our Discord. So if you want access to our deck list, do you want to play magic with a lot of people from all over the world and interact or help brew your decks? The I Hate Your Deck Discord through Patreon will help you get all that done. Hey, if you've been liking I Hate Your Deck, hit the like, subscribe, and ring that bell to get notifications when we have new episodes coming out. And we also have bonus episodes. If you want to see those bonus episodes that were too hot for YouTube, join our Patreon to check that out. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out, slinging spells. I Hate Your Deck. We want to give you the true LGS experience. We show up, sling spells, and have fun. Now meet our players for this episode. What's up everyone? It's Lynch from My Hate Your Deck. Welcome to another spicy episode. And I've got some really awesome players here today that I'm excited to introduce you with. Oh, she's always extra spicy. <laughs> so anyways, I always love playing paper magic with my friends. Hello, I'm Eileen. I am also RPG Fox in the Discord. I'm looking to roast some people's tongues today, so let's get started. What up? I'm Bryce, AKA Ricey B, that dude, B Rice, the homie, you know who it is. Have fun, make new friends, and, and hopefully do something. What's up? I'm Carrie. I haven't been playing Magic all that long. It's been maybe a year, but you know, after we had our second kid, I said, what better way to spend some free time we do have playing magic? So it's been fun. I've enjoyed playing with my partner. Yeah, have fun. A wee little magic baby. <laughs> yes, that's right. true. So I'm here to have fun and hopefully maybe do something. Or if you told me you play magic where you don't get divorced from yeah. this, okay. <laughs> this is important. Sometimes yeah. that counter is not worth it. You hold that. <laughs> or the board wipe. Or, or the, the board wipe. She's we got a no perfect board setup. Like, board yeah. <laughs> do I want a board wipe or do I want to stay happily married? Let's, happily married, always the answer. Yeah, that so question. let's go into rule zero and let's talk about it. If it's okay, I'd like to play a Lord of the Rings Commander Shalob, which is the spider from the Lord of the Rings that later on Frodo and Sam have to fight. But it's a universe beyond. It's not part of the magic lore, so if you guys are okay. But let's be fair. Sam fights it. Frodo just gets chunked. Yeah, okay, that's right. <laughs> that's a consistent theme. <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> For anyone who hasn't seen it or read the books. Yeah, that's real. Uh, who, yeah, but if you haven't seen it at this point, read the books. You know what? There will be people who might not ever see the Peter Jackson, might only see the remake that they're doing. So you never even <gasps> oh, no, decided to think that. No, don't, no, no. I know. Don't they should that. watch the original Peter Jackson. There is a couple proxies in here. If you guys are okay with proxies, I don't know proxies if, if, how you well, feel. Yeah. Pro yep, got same. proxies. Mostly yeah. lands. Fantastic. There's only one crazy combo in here, the Devoted Druid combo, which I know you're um, familiar with. Yeah, Devoted Druid, if you turn it into something other than a creature, you can just make infinite green green mana. So I, I imagine you have a way to damage your own creatures to make them non-creatures. Yeah. There's ways to do that. <laughs> I want to do damage not just to my creatures, yes. to your creatures. To I want to creatures. double up death triggers because Divinod is in here too. I might have said that wrong. No, driven not. Driven not. Say how you say it. Look, <laughs> it's not a game where Lynch doesn't mispronounce something. <laughs> I really don't try to mispronounce things, y'all. Talking is just tough. I want to cause chaos with spiders, especially my commander. So Shalob, child of Ungoliant. There it is. Shalob, child of Ungoliant. Ungoliant, yeah. Ungoliant? I don't know what that yeah. accent was. Shalob, child of Ungoliant. It's a spider demon, 8-8, eight, eight, death touch, ward 2. Other spiders you control have death touch and ward 2. Whenever another creature dealt damage this turn by a spider you control dies, create a token that's a copy of that creature except it's a food artifact with pay two generic tap sacrifices artifact to gain three life and it loses all of their card types. So that's what I want to do. I want to give you guys arachnophobia. <laughs> Look, I already know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You brought something really special here today. Yeah, and when yeah. When we first met and you were going over this deck, you talked a lot about its importance and I'd love yeah. you to 
to share that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, so I've, Sisse is a commander for what is called Black is Magic, or before recent shifts, it was called Black People Tribal. So now we can call it Black People Typal. Maybe now. Every card in here outside of the lands uh, features a black person or has a black person on it. It's beautiful. The art is beautiful. There are lots of secret layer things. Uh, a lot of it also connects to, to me and my story. I am a beautiful black man, if you can't already tell. Um, but also been on a journey of recognizing, you know, like for me, like what does it mean to be black? What does it mean to love myself and appreciate um, black folks? And that's, I wanted to show up and have a deck that is both competitive and features uh, folks from, from my community. Yeah, to represent you. To yeah. That's right. Something Representation from, matters. From the heart. Exactly. And I, so please don't do anything. Uh, <laughs> you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't target my car. No, that's right. Exactly. Yeah, I was joking with Lynch earlier. It's like, hopefully I do so good, I get I hate your deck. Just don't call it by the name because that might be, you know. I love your deck. You I love how it has good that's representation. Right. I think that's really sweet. I think there's gonna be some people that didn't even know what you did was possible. But when you told me that you were even in a Discord where you guys right. are exactly helping correct. each other find yep. all the cards. Yep. That's really cool. And with that in mind, I also got a shout out my man Ty. He's over in the UK and was the one who initially sort of brought this idea forth. And like you said, now there's been a community of us coming together where new cards come out. We're discussing, going back and forth. Is this like a legal card to put in? based off of our definition, if there's a questionable card, sometimes we'll email the artists and whatnot to confirm, hey, is this like a black person or not? Just like that Imperial Seal that? has that black hand It does, hand yep, in yep. It. So you'll I see noticed. some cards, they'd be like, is that? And I'll be like, well, it's right here. <laughs> I'll even no. see the fingertips. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right here are my homies that will confirm. <laughs> Well, that's really cool. I'm really, I'm really excited to see it. And I think, you know, a lot of people do certain themes with their decks and it's cool to see that you were able to put together what yeah. you told me was a pretty spicy thing. It could be spicy. Speaking of which, as we're in rule zero, so there's some fast mana in here. One combo to go infinite with mana. Sisei tutor stuff. I have other tutors as well. I am playing Bright Palms, plus one counters, big dumb creatures. There is a few pieces of fast mana. There's mostly just land tutors. There's no infinites. There are some decent cards like Panharnomicon that will assist the deck in being bigger. Win con in the deck is just attacking. It's just punch, so punch, up. punch, and more punch. Cool. So no politics here, you're punching face. More or less, I might no. be- She doesn't like politics. I Oh, that's because fair. information changes from turn to turn. I don't like making deals because you could drop well, something you could that's have like a caveat. I have a deal as long as there's not a major change in the board <laughs> state. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. You know, just like your deck means a lot to you. Yeah. You talked about how Kamigawa was really important. Yeah. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, Kamigawa was actually what drew me in to Magic. Like, it was coming out, and I was mm -hmm. like, this is so cool. I mean, I have Japanese heritage, so there's just like a tie, and there was just like a vibe that I was so into. And so, like, we got the pre-con with mm -hmm. Chishiro, who, was at, who I'm going to play with as my commander. I did a lot of fun and Tooling. Tinkering. Tinkering, thank you. You know, I'm all about like getting out Aura's equipments to put out a bunch of little menacers and just kind of create a little board state that gets a lot of counters on them and have some fun. And... They did such a good job on Kamigawa. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. super sick. Let's grab our dice. I hate your deck. Let's roll, let's see who goes first. All right, all right I'm calling it winning right Come on, now. six, six. Two. Boom, baby! Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, you already know so what it close. is. Yes. yes. All right, is everyone good with their seven? Well, we're gonna start with this here. You're gonna draw for you. There you go, I got you. I'm gonna go this <laughs> here by you. Okay, soul ring! Oh! This is, uh, and the black is magic soul ring. It's also beautiful, yeah. Are you, are you sure? Sure? Yeah. I can go? All right, do it now. So cinder glade tapped, pass. No turn one plays for me. Oh. It's, it's rare. Oh, 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 oh. Great, another soul ring. Yeah. It's a crypt. Cinderglade comes in tap because I don't have two other mortal lands. That's your turn. Not Cinderglade. What What did you play? I have yeah. Cinderglade. Y'all, strong start. <laughs> Death Cap Glade. It's still a glade, but not a Cinderglade. It enters tap unless you control two mortal lands. We're both tapped. Look, tap buddies. Okay. I don't like this. All, this feels weird. It's all you. I will draw a forest. I will tap my forest, sorry, to also play a soul ring. Whoa, what right, happened this, this side of the this board? Side, I, I, I like how this has never happened before. You, this, oh, this. that sounds like another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. Right. Wasn't me. Um, Wasn't me. Passing turn. Lynch. 
truth. It's early. With that untap, oh, cute. All right, we're gonna go ahead and draw here. Yeah, that'll work. Be a command tower. <laughs> uh, it's maybe not the most efficient tap soaring for this here copper coat vanguard. Human soldier 2-2, two, two. each other human you control gets plus one plus oh and has ward one. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Just warning Can I everything. See that yeah, card? you may. It's beautiful. What set is this from? That's from you know, Kamigawa. Too, right? It almost looks more like a Final Fantasy sword or some yeah. stuff. Like, I've got an energy sword. Is that's that's it? That's it? Yeah. Okay. I was, just I was chill. It doesn't have haste. Not... Untap. There you go. Upkeep. Hopefully, you got a turn two play at least. Yeah. I do. I'm going to win sweat teeth. I'm going to lose a life, tap and it. sack it to go get. Mountain, and then I'm gonna use that mountain and green to cast nature's lore. To then get I mean a savannah for yes. I was trying to guess your plane. Okay, so you're getting a mountain and into a savannah. Yep. Yep. And now it's my turn. I will untap my tap land. I will draw for turn. Alright, I'm gonna play a forest for turn. I'm gonna tap the forest and the death clap. <laughs> I'm casting sting, I'm the glittering dagger. Sting. For equipment, legendary artifact. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, and has haste. At the beginning of each combat, untap a equipped creature. Equipped creature has first strike as long as it's blocking or blocked by a goblin or orc, and equips her too. Hopefully, she might learn how to wield it. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. this, yeah, let's this, not which have is a spider against, with a sword. Yeah, that's terrifying. Great. <laughs> we have enough legs to hold one, you know? I got a bunch of legs. So I've got Sting, which again is a very famous dagger in Lord of the Rings mythology. She love gonna be death clapping them cheeks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she's, and she's got eight eyes to watch them cheeks clap. And <laughs> clap a clap a room. <laughs> <laughs> and I pass. Woo! <laughs> Untap, and I will draw for turn. The shame, I, you felt it. Yeah, I know. I will play a game trail. When it enters the battlefield, I may reveal a mountain or a forest from my hand. Otherwise, it enters top, so I will reveal a forest. Ooh, interesting. You, That's yeah. a forest. I will then tap four to play my commander, Chishiro. The Shattered Blade. It is a 4-4 legendary creature, Snake Samurai. It says whenever an aura or equipment enters the battlefield under my control, create a 2-2 red spirit creature token with menace. And at the beginning of my end step, I could put a plus one plus one counter on each modified creature I control. And modified is defined as equipment, aura that I control, and counters. And that is my turn. Pretty sweet. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Got your commander out. Got turn my commander. Two. 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 That's it's, pretty, it's pretty good. That's nice. Pass, pass. I, I, I like it. I like it. Pass. Or oh, yeah, your turn's finished. I'm gonna here tap this by you. Oh, you're not gonna vampire. And I'm gonna put this vampiric tutor. Oh! Which I will say, looking at it, we uh, discussed this card. We decided we think it's a black person, but it may be a person in black face. <laughs> we don't. It <laughs> might be a mask. It <laughs> might be. Past the is, judgment of our there. Discord group. But I think that that person likes the really long nails yeah. so that they need help when oh. operating their phone or opening, <laughs> opening up cans. Holding this big cup opening looks doors, like a child. Are you seeing how long yeah. those nails? Like, you, you know, like, like that person gets their nails done. I mean, it could just be a vampire that uses them to like slice some people open. <laughs> Last, and I'm Jeez. shuffling this here deck. You're vamp tutoring. You lost your two life. Well, aren't you? I'm gonna untap and draw and do the obligatory. Oh, <laughs> surprising. <laughs> This looks good. That's in my deck. <laughs> exactly. Who would have ever thought? Oh, Play a reflecting pool land for turn. I don't. A tap Actually, I don't either. And a soul ring for a six study. Is an enchantment. It says whenever an opponent casts a spell, you may draw a card unless that player pays one. Pay your taxes. So maybe instead of doing the only thing where I'll be like, Hey, you're gonna pay for one. I'll just say reparations, <laughs> and then you get to decide. <laughs> I don't know. That might be. Uh, <laughs> that, might, that might make me feel awkward <laughs> if I don't. Pay. Exactly. <laughs> a little bit of pressure. <laughs> I'm finished with that turn. Untap. Yeah. Upkeep. Draw. Play a plateau. Tap two for arcane signet. I will pay the one. <laughs> Thank you for I being responsible. Tap two, and unfortunately can no longer pay the one for three visits. You and your ramp. I know. Get out of uh, here. Soul rings. Yeah, True. That's pretty What's, good. All three of you are a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I am in a house <laughs> of cards. We're scared right. of the spiders. We're preparing ourselves. I know. <laughs> I also have to here. say, it's a soul ring. It's got you know, soul. Yeah. <laughs> or we just put the sleeves up. So did the roof off the cover, did the roof off the cover. Did you ever watch Undercover Brother? Yes, absolutely. Dude, I, I love, love me some Undercover I was, Brother. I was a projectionist during that time, so, so I built oh, that movie. Nice. Untap. 
Draw. Is it the land you wanted? It's the land no. I wanted! And so you didn't even see it go to my ah, hand, so you know I top to decked it. Yep. Oh, I'm so excited for that, y'all. No, that's scary. I'm not. It doesn't come in tap because I control a forest. And I forgot to mention, I fetched a canopy vista from the three visits. When I tap three, and I'm a cast a Savvy Hunter, Human Warrior, 3-3. Three, three. Whenever Savvy Hunter attacks or blocks, create a food token. Mm -hmm. I can sacrifice two foods mm -hmm. and draw a card. Mm -hmm. I liked the food theme too, still, because in the, yeah, in the yeah, Hobbit yeah. Lord of the That's Rings, fine. food has been a big deal. Yep. You're talking um, about food, you need second breakfast. Makes me hungry. Second Peace, breakfast, 11 That's right, <laughs> Some Taco Bell. <laughs> but I am hoping You to can start... keep your taco smell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Riz Dig Study Would you like pay reparations? I am not paying my tax. Exist. All right, here we go. We'll that's the only one you get, because that's you. a major that's, trigger. Yes. Ooh, yes. I mean, Ooh. Appreciate that. So I, I, <laughs> I'll pass so many, you So many jokes turn. to be made. Okay, I will untap. It sounds like my life. <laughs> 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 I was like, this is true allyship. Hey, we're already, game one starting out fine. <laughs> we're doing we're, real well. I will play a mountain for turn. Beautiful nice. mountain, Pretty. love those. Kamigawa, Florida, yeah, dope. So I will pay one forest to play a wild growth, mm. which is an enchantment. Would we're you uh, like to pay your taxes? Mm. Got extra mana? Come on, don't let oh, him have it. Do you oh. though? The trigger's on the stack, and you have time to think, because this, but this is still a cast. Yes. So this hasn't entered yet. Don't let the blue player draw cards. That's just a rule. I don't have very many counters. It's not about counters. <laughs> Knowledge is power. So are you gonna pay for Ristic Study? I will pay one. I'll tap All my soul right. ring. And just you'll get one floater one. and one gets paid. Then priority. That's it. Priority, I pass. Anything? Which one are you? I will put it on this mountain. Well, oh, perfect. This is mountain. actually a enchantment aura. And so that does trigger my commander. Mm -hmm. Oh, which because it was an aura that entered under my control, that will trigger creation of a spirit token, a two-two menace. You can try to, to point me in another direction, but I know how blue works. <laughs> this isn't blue. This is a black <laughs> with a bla <laughs> with a blue outline. <laughs> I will use this floating yep. one more. And I will play a Vorak Battlehorns, which is an artifact equipment. It says equipped creature has trample and can't be blocked by more than one creature. Trigger, trigger. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I will pay the one and flip one. Yes. So I will... you paid for both. I did. I heard you okay. say you weren't being paid for both. I was thinking. You got my hopes up? <laughs> Pull the sleight of hand on you. So that will trigger my commander and create another spirit. I will use the floating to pay the extra one to equip Vorak Battlehorns to my commander. It is now a 4-4 Trampler that can only be blocked by one creature. I'm gonna move to combat. Oh. You're in combat. I will swing my commander at you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love you and also you're scary you already. Well. I got two minutes up. Sometimes it's interesting seeing the husband Wife rivalry. On. This is a, yeah, it's a, My it's wife a and I do it. We always hit each other first. That feels fair. I will take it. Four commander damage? Yes. Move to my end step. That will trigger my commander. Because this is a modified creature now, it will get a plus one, plus one counter. Boom. And I will pass my turn. All right. Go to the untap. I know you're like, what happened to this two mana? Nothing. All right, I will tap this here soul ring and a reflecting pool for white. Cast my commander. To say we all feel all right about it. Response, response, response. Nope, nope. it's yours. It Eight lands. Of will. I'm gonna play a flooded strand. Tap. You just pay keep one life. Yourself. I know. I'm okay with it. Stop yeah, hitting yourself. It works for me. Life's a resource. It is. I appreciate you all's need patience. You only one life. This here, volcanic Island. Uh, yeah. That for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tap three. Teferi Time Raveler. I guess I should have also read Sisse. So let me to say Weatherlight Captain gets plus one, plus one for each color among other legendary permanents you control. I could then pay Wooberg to search my library for a legendary permanent card with mana value less than Sisse's power. Put that card on the battlefield and then I shuffle. Get her big, search for whatever you want. I mean, yeah, I'm just hanging out. Teferi Time Raveler, I call him my Idris. He looks, looks like Idris Elba. Does. Planeswalker, come with four counters. Each opponent can cast spells. You can cast spells. Only any time they could cast a sorcerer. All Teferis are fun police. I can uptick for one. It says until your next turn, you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. 
I can down tick three to return up to one target artifact, creature, or enchantment to its owner's hand and draw a card. Like, let's just play nice and I won't have to return stuff to your hand. Can I propose a suggestion to the person who's gonna be making tokens? Murder the planeswalker. What the fuck is that? Planeswalkers yeah. need to die. Planeswalkers are scary. <laughs> I will uptick one to five and pass my turn. Your sorceries are flash speed. Correct. Untap, upkeep, draw Wrong. step. Pre combat main phase. <laughs> Gavany Township, a colorless land that I can tap white, green, two, put a 1 1 counter on each creature I control. Y'all are so scary. I have three lands. <laughs> you have six and a, a rock. I have three lands as well. <laughs> Just little modifiers. Green, red, white, one, and my what? taxes. Why? 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 Shalai and Halar. Legendary Flying Vigilance Angel L33. Whenever one or more counters are put on a creature I control, Shalai and Halar deals that much damage to target opponent. What? Excuse me? Yeah, yeah, you heard me. Oh, it's one or more though. So that much damage. Oh, that much. Yeah, oh, so if so I put 10 counters. Don't do that. No promises. I will generously pass the turn. I yes. tap, I draw. Some scary things going on. I think what I'll do. With them death clapping of cheeks. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't with y'all. I'm gonna tap three. I'm gonna cast Read the Bones. Scry two, then draw two, and I lose two life. Yeah. So I'm gonna scry two. Do you wanna read these bones? They're called phalanges. Phalanges. <laughs> On cast. I don't Reparations. pay. Hey, you got it. <laughs> I'm going to then draw the two that I scried. Yeah, take my two life. Mm, is it okay that I touched your life total? It is. <laughs> Consent I, is important. <laughs> Overgrown tomb will come in tapped. I will attack you, Eileen, for three with my savvy hunter on attack trigger. I will create a food. Just keep in mind, all actions have equal or greater reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I just oh, feel greater. happy that I made a food you did it. because Yay. I get hungry. Fair Thank, is you. A real Thank you. Yeah. I'll pass turn. Take it away. Untap. I will draw. Ooh, fun. I will play land for turn, a forest. Pay two, a red and green, and I will cast Wildwood Scored. On cast, I will pay one, Floristic Study. Sorry, I had to say it before you. Didn't <laughs> I cast. like her. <laughs> yeah, I do too, sometimes. <laughs> Wildwood Scourge is a zero, zero creature Hydra, but it enters the battlefield with X plus one, plus one counters, and I paid one, so it will enter with one counter. Whenever one or more plus one, plus one counters are put on another non-Hydra creature in control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Wildwood Scourge. Okay. So I might be putting counters on things. It might get bigger, it's fine. No big deal. Who does it better? <laughs> so yeah, far you're I'm taking scared. the lead. You should figure it out. I'm scared. I will pay four because that will include Ristic Studying. And I will cast another artifact equipment. This will be oh, Fire geez, Shrieker. Lord. Oh Lord. That is equipped creature has double strike. That will trigger my commander to bring out another spirit. But a non hasty one. Correct. This these one's two a little... can attack if you want to attack. I will move to combat. I will swing my commander at you, Lynch. I have I... no responses. <laughs> I will send these two at Eileen. I'm trying to spread it out too, so you know. One, two, three, four. Finish combat. We we resolve damages. What do you have second main? Yeah, so on my end step, my commander will trigger and put counters on modified creatures, which includes itself here, and this one is also modified. And then whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on another non-hydra, I put one on here. So now I have three. And now I'll pass my turn. Untap. We'll go to draw. Play Scalding Tarn. I will uptick to Fairy to allow me to cast sorceries at instant speed. Brings this up to six. Pass my turn. And if it's all right, I'll crack and find my land. Boop. There it is. Untap, upkeep, draw step. I will go ahead and play this Spire Garden. Comes in untapped because I have more than two lovely people playing this game with me. I will spend red, white, green, one to cast Bright Palm. 
Soul Awakener. A 4-3 Fox Shaman with backup. When this creature enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on target creature. When this creature attacks, double the number of counters on target creature. Then that creature cannot be blocked by creature's power two or less. So when it ETBs, I will trigger the backup ability and I will put a 1-1 counter. Here, we just gotta, let's get a oh, they're one. gonna get so okay. much bigger so, than so that. So on cast. Always. All right. Pay my attacks. I will back up Shalai and Halar. That'll trigger Shalai and Halar's ability to do one damage to target opponent. I wish I could just hit the Planeswalker, but you punched me for four, so Fair. take one. I will. Is in a 40? I will go to the Wombat step. Who are you swinging at? I'm gonna swing at you. <laughs> you open. So I'm gonna attack Flying Vigilance 4-4 on Please. attack trigger. I'm gonna target Shalai with the backed up ability. I'm gonna double the number of counters on it and it cannot be blocked by power two or less. That is gonna trigger my mm -hmm. commander again and I will hit you for one again. Taking one. All right, I take five. Host combat main phase. Green one and my taxes. <laughs> Everyone's out here. I've Sacrifice seen... Shalai. Whoa. I'm gonna play Life's Legacy. So Life's Legacy, as an additional cost, sacrifice a creature. Draw cards equal to the sacrifice creature's power, which was five. Five cards. Three, I'm four, so confused right five. now. I mean, it's a lot of mana, a lot of cards. Commander's out, set up very well. Am I on <laughs> Uh, Yes, it is on your turn. Draw for turn. Play it first. I'm gonna tap two. I'm gonna equip the Savvy Hunter to Sting, the Glinting Dagger. So now I get the plus one, plus one, mm -hmm. and has haste if that meant something. I will go ahead and swing my four, four. I'll swing you for four. I'll block with the spirit. Okay, on the attack trigger, I would get a second food token. My spirit will die. Second main. I'll tap three, I'll cast Black Market Connections. Oh, At the beginning you like of your, I can't pay, draw your card. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, choose one, create a treasure token, draw a card, lose two life, or create a three, two color shapes of your creature token with change lane and you lose three life. I will pass the turn. Untap. I will draw. I will play land for turn, which is an exotic orchard. Pay a green, red, and another red, and pay my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> to play an enchantment aura called Draconic Destiny, which says enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has flying haste, and I may pay one colorless to, and it says this creature gets plus one, plus oh, until end of turn, and it's a dragon in addition to its other types. Whenever this enchanted creature dies, return this card to my hand. Colorless fire breathing, huh? That will trigger my another spirit to come out. And then I'm gonna put this on one of my spirits. I will use my soul ring to pay for the two colorless to equip my fire shrieker. So now my commander has double strike, trample, it cannot be blocked by more than one creature. I will move to combat. That's going to trigger sting, which will untap the savvy hunter. It's, it's gonna be six, what? right? Mm -hmm. Not seven. <laughs> Assert dominance. <laughs> Don't <laughs> let him bully you. I'm not bullying. I'm just asking questions. Oh, it's hard. I'm so built around my commander if it goes. So swing a couple of the menacey boys yeah. over at the planeswalker yeah, that's right. and the wanna... big boy yeah. at the phase. Yeah, if you do what you gotta do. I will send my commander and these two spirits, my commander at Ilya. And then I'll send these two over here. I'm gonna send uh -huh. two spirits over there. Uh -huh. I try you to got three, spread there's I three know. people. Okay, but well, somebody's no, gotta take the big one. Yeah, I already yeah, hit yeah, here yeah. and I already hit here. I'm yeah, just trying, like I said, yeah, spread yeah, it out. Okay. So are they both coming at me or at the Planeswalker one and one? What's the breakdown? They're coming at you. Not to fairy. That's what you get for leaving the toilet right. seat up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I will I will take five. Louder. So you took five. Second main. I'm not gonna cast anymore. Okay. I'm gonna move to my end step. End step, trigger, trigger. On my end step, my commander will trigger, which will put a counter. So this will go up to four. This will go up to three, and this will put a one, one counter on the spirit. Trigger. That will then trigger my Hydra because it counters are put on one or more. It will twice. trigger twice. So mm -hmm. that'll actually go up to six. So. Also on your end step, I'm going to tap Wooberg. Red, blue, black, green, and we'll say white. Yeah, don't worry about it. No worries, fam. You don't even have to I tap got you. her to do that. Don't worry, don't worry. You just pay it and that's it? That's what it is. 
I call her Sis Ray Ray, Rihanna. The real <laughs> name is uh, Dinah here, Invoker Adept. Love. Legendary creature, Haste. You may activate abilities of other creatures you control as though those creatures had haste. Parts. Tap when you next activate an ability this turn by spending four or more mana to activate it. Copy that ability. Choose new targets. <laughs> this person? No, 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 you love me. Don't do I that. Do. Okay. That ETBs. Yeah, all right, we all good? Okay. No. Untap. <laughs> We're not good. Upkeep. Draw. We're gonna play. Mm. Mm. This here is Scrubland. Scrub. I love you so much. That is a really hard, big double striker, it's nasty okay. nast. I'm gonna go ahead and down tick three to return target artifact, creature, or enchantment to his owner's hand and draw a card. So, yeah, I think Chishiro is gonna be the target. Your response. Nobody can respond because of your planeswalker. <laughs> You're correct. I tried to draw your kill, <laughs> right. but now okay. it's too late. Uh, with I, that, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a card. She sure will go to my hand. Enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> Fine, everything is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and tap Scrubland for white and tap my soul ring for three. Play this card. Peaceful homie, AKA the peacekeeper. One, one, creature says during your upkeep, I must pay white and one or bury it. Creatures can't attack, y'all. I'm just trying to keep what? the peace. Wait, can't attack Creatures at all? Oh cannot attack. We're just hanging out. That's not good for me. <laughs> We're just trying to keep the peace. Not attacking, move past combat step, move past second main. And me? Face. It's all you. Little old me? <laughs> yep. I'm gonna untap, Yeah. upkeep, draw step. Cliff Top Retreat comes in untapped because I control both a mountain and a plains. I'm gonna green, one, two, three, four, five, six, for a total of seven. I'm gonna play Emergent Woodworm. It is a four, four with backup three. So whenever I back up something, they will gain the following ability, which is when this creature attacks, look at the top X cards of my library. X is its power. I may put a permanent card with CMC X or less from among them onto the battlefield mm. and the rest on the bottom in random order. Are you paying your tax? Cast trigger, I'll pay my taxes. Thank you. Not welcome. <laughs> if this resolves to back up my commander, pass through my phases, and pass the turn, Lynch. Mm. I will you. untap. I will draw for turn. Main phase. I'll choose to make a treasure. So I'll make a treasure. I lose one life. I should continue uh, uh, uh. to play Lord of the Rings cards. Of course, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I like Lord of the Rings. So Ooh. Tap Ooh, is it a ring? Big. Is it a ring? Tap for? Mirkwood Bats. Ooh, oh, oh tokens. When yeah. you create or yeah. sacrifice yeah, a yeah, token, yeah. each opponent loses one, one life. life. I can't pay for Rhystic. Thank you. you got one right I'm there. I need to use it. <laughs> that means you're gonna have him draw another card. No. Did it activate an ability? So let me go ahead and sack two foods to Savvy Hunter's ability to draw. Uh, trigger. Trigger, each of you will lose one life. Exactly. And I sack two tokens, so it'd be two, two total. Yep. Two. I am here to sow chaos, murder, <laughs> and mayhem. You woke up this morning and chose violence. <laughs> we still have no fun police to ferry. And the peacekeeper. And the peacekeeper. <laughs> yeah. All right, I have to do it now, so I'll do this. I'll sack the treasure, which will trigger the bats who each will lose a life. I will cast not paying the Rhystic Study Tax. Destroy target permanent opponent controls as controller may search the library for a basic land. What are you targeting? The one thing I can target on your board that gives a word to help the rest of the team, the table, La Mesa. I will allow it. You get a basic on the battlefield, not even tapped. Oh. My end step, nothing else triggers, and I pass. I will untap all my things. I will draw for turn. I'll play another forest. Can't have too many. All of the broccolis. All the broccolis out there. Go get this here, planes. Put it right in the battlefield. There you go. Recast my commander by paying two red and a green to put Chishiro back out on the battlefield. Welcome back. Welcome. Taxes. He's already oppressing us enough. Don't give him more. I am gonna pay the I'm gonna pay one for a wrist. Yeah. yeah. Feels like the right thing to do. Gotta be consistent. Attempt to re-equip Tashiro by paying one, two, three on these. So I'm gonna tap one, two, three to try to put this back on. Can't, I'm just gonna move through combat because we're peaceful. This is great. 
This is really sad. And I'm gonna move to my end step and I'm gonna do my triggering. Chishiro will trigger and put a counter on itself. It will also, this one will go here. This one will also get a counter from the Chishiro, go up to seven, and then it will re-trigger again from its own ability. So that will put two more on. So it should go up to nine and I will pass. Wish we could attack. <laughs> Got my I big things too. ready, but. You can now target things. This is true. You could have targeted it before. Oh. Just gotta pay. On your end step, I'm gonna tap Dinah here, which says the next time you activate an ability this turn by spending four or more mana, I can copy the ability. So I will tap Dinah here. I will then tap Wooberg to activate Sisse. Twice. Uh, to go get a couple a couple things. We're gonna die. <laughs> I'm going to go get two things. The first thing that I'm gonna get is this here, Aminatu. Oh, cause it's just a tutor legendary. Is that what it is? Yes, any legendary permanent. So it could also be a land that's happened before. For the love of Jesus Christ. Uh, these two need to die. <laughs> she runs an Aminatu yeah. deck. So she loves that she commander knows, too yeah. well. Uh, I'm going to go oh, no. get Captain Sisse. Oh, Sisse's other friend Sisse. <laughs> yeah, which is able to be at haste because of your other lady that taps. It's also on the end on her end step, but yes. Correct. Oh right. Yeah. I'm gonna get Captain Sisse and Aminatu. Aminatu will come in with three so counters. Sick. For your end step counters, I will also tap Captain Sisse to get a legendary card, reveal it, and then put it into my hand. We all do agree that this is problematic, this right? Is bad. Pippin, Guard of the Citadel. 2-2 two, two, Vigilance Ward. Tap another target creature you control gains protection from the card type of your choice until end of turn. Great, it's a mother of runes yeah. for card types. <laughs> that goes into your hand though. This goes in my hand. Correct, all right. Are you finished? Oh, yeah, okay. no, that was your turn. Are you finished? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me. Are right. finished Three. on her turn? Here, here, here. Yes, that was rude. Untap, upkeep trigger, I will pay. So this mm -hmm. is my white. Y'all should be joining forces against them. I'll lose this colorless, right? Because during the upkeep phase. Now we're on to my draw. I'm gonna play this here, Badlands. We're just gonna go I blame for the, school. the things. This is all about the school. <laughs> I had a wonderful public school education, no worries. I'm going to tap two. So this is gonna be for my blue. This will be for my white. To play Pippin Guard of the Citadel. I already know. Don't, Stay don't, don't, don't come over the line here. <laughs> over the line. I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. <laughs> they don't roll on Shomer fucking Chavez. <laughs> Big Lebowski anyway. The rock just tied the room together. We are nihilists, we care about nothing Lebowski. Nothing. <laughs> I will uptick to fairy four. Look, obviously you're not a golfer. <laughs> going to uptick Aminatu to draw a card and then put a card on top of my library. That will be my here turn. You sure? Anything else? <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do while we wait? Untap, upkeep, draw step. I know you have some removal. I'm gonna go ahead and play this Coop Bound Rag. Mm. It comes in untap because I control a mountain and a forest. We do have the kind of, our, he's, he's arch enemy yeah, right no, now. No, no, no. I'm going to not get another attack. I'm just saying, if you can get rid of Pippin. I, I, yeah, I get it, but I really need to start making use of this ability, but I can't I don't know how attack. you're going to do that, though, because anyone you target that's not Pippin is going to be able to be protected. All right, well, let's do this, I guess. So, spend five mana paying a kicker cost to cast Inscription of Abundance. So if kicker is caught, paid, I will be able to choose all three modes. No, I cannot pay for this one. So kind. Why what do you think it? I've been advocating <laughs> for punching him? <laughs> this whole time I've been like, don't don't let him bully you. It was you such sorry, you pause. I needed to have discarded one on my end set because I was at eight. This so was that's a card the one you drew, so you I gotta drew. discard from that pile. Discard four seek. Thank you. So now you draw the card, yep. which you have right there. Correct. I paid the kicker cost. I'm choosing all three modes. I'm going to put two 1-1 one -one counters on target creature. I'm going to gain life equal to target creature's power. And then I'm going to have Bright Palms fight Pippin. And you paid for the ward cost on Pippin? I hate you. <laughs> Awesome. Wait, no, the ward thing's gone. We killed it. it this has, has ward on itself. Oh, it has. Yeah. Oh, God. It would have been two ward if it Yeah. Was. Just one, just one. Risky, risky business, but hey, no risk it, no biscuit. So I will at least tap it to give another target creature protection. I will protect my peacekeeper, because we're trying to keep the peace. From what? 
For the rest, just to the end of the church. But no, you have to even say it's hard type. type. Oh, from sorry. Instant, yes, correct. From that's From the right. sorcery. Uh, from, from an instant. Or a creature, like it's any card type. <laughs> Are you so, sure? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so protection from instant, that's peacekeeper right. from Pippin. Is this resolving this fight? And that's right. Pippin dying? This fight. Sorry, Pippin. Pippin uh, okay. will die. All right, now that we're back to sorcery pays where the rest of us are stuck, I'm gonna pay three, paying my taxes for this one since Sylvan oh. Library. Uh, since we can't attack, I'm not gonna be losing any life other than my own self slaps. Pass through my phases and pass. Hey, untap. I will draw for turn. Trigger on the stack, black market connection. The way shit's been going down mm -hmm. here, I feel like I need to create a treasure token. Lose a life. You guys all lose a life because I created a token and Merc would oh, bad. Uh, I would have, since we finished resolving this, I would have put two counters here and then I would have gained nine life. I already took the one. We forgot to finish resolving yeah. this. Yeah. Oh, I had, we, we got kind of turned it. around when you responded. We forgot yeah. to actually finish resolving and then responded her triggers. Again. Was there anything else we forgot with this? No, no, that was We it. did all three modes. I put, yeah, I put the counters on. I gained the life. Pippin, we did the one thing. We forgot the other two. So now you have the counters. Now you gained the life. Correct. Yep. Now we're caught up. Yep. Did you take the life from the Merkwood bats? Uh, not on the bats, that's two. One. I'm going to play a land, Pass of the Dead, which is also just Cavern of Souls, but it's the yep. Lord of the Rings yep. flavor, cool. which is sick. Again, so keep good. it the flavor. Yeah. Flavor's flavor. important. But spiders are hairy, so they have plenty of flavor savers. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That was good. Lynch. I will choose spider for the creature type. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Three, I would never four, think five, of six, countering your 8-8 Death Toucher ward seven. giving wardy thing. So Lynch. Yes. Now that we're kind of teaming up here. Yes. Sisse, Sisse, Dinah here. We'll call it Sis Riri. Or Aminatu. All of these need to go. I'm just chilling. I'll tap six, crack the treasure. You guys lost the life. Then I will cast Spinning Wheel Kick. Target creature controls deals damage equal to its power to each of X target creatures and or planeswalker. I paid two and two into the two X's and the two green, well, two green and two X's. So I have a creature that's a four, four. So I can shoot both planeswalkers for four, correct? You're yeah. looking at it like yeah, it's not no, no, I've just never seen this card before. It, too bad it's not in Chung Lee colors, because that should be a That's Chung a really Lee card. Cool. So I'm basically going to do four damage to both those planeswalkers for targeting the Savvy Hunter. So spinning wheel on the stack. This is for the team. For the horde. I'm going to tap one. For, for the, the horde. horde. I'm going to tap one to channel Adawara, which normally would cost three, but because I have three legendary creatures out, that only costs one blue to return target creature to its owner's hand. So I will return the savvy hunter to your hand. Well, shit. <laughs> That's what happens when we let him draw cards. I advocated so early for punching him in the dome. I tried, y'all. Yeah, y'all really are, are doing great. So this goes in my hand? Correct. Damn. Sorry. Not All right. Sorry. I passed the Just turn. trying to keep the peace. I'm playing fair no, magic. No, you're not playing yes. great fair magic. You're not fair keeping magic. any peace. You're over here just like, <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck. I'm on my high horse and my, <laughs> my throne. All right, take oh, it away, Carrie. I untap. I will draw. I'll pay two, three, four, five, six total to play Aki Battle Squad which is a 6-6 six, six Goblin Samurai. It says whenever one or more modified creatures you control attack, untap all modified creatures you control. After this combat, there is another combat. We're not going to combat, so it's fine, but we'll just, you know. You're gonna pay your taxes? Of course, always. Yeah, sure. I'm pay with the past combat, past my second main, and I'm gonna do my end step, which does the usual Chishiro things. Adds one here, adds one here, adds one for the Chishiro. 10, and then it will see those other two and go up to 12. Tap Sisse to look for Legendary. And if it's okay with y'all, I'm gonna do a couple things at the same time. Ooh, maybe we could do that one. No, we'll go get Darina, Dauntless General. She's a 2-2. Darina, Dauntless General, enters the battlefield. I can exile a player's graveyard. I can also unsack her to give. Humans I control, hexproof and indestructible. Tap one with a mystical tutor. I search my library for an instant or sorcery card and put it on top. Beautiful counter spell. <laughs> Why are you like this? I'm just trying to protect everybody. No attacks, no shenanigans. This goes on top. All right, now we go to the untap. I feel like a kid on timeout okay. in I a will small pay cage. For the peacekeeper with this planes and the plateau. Draw step. 
the place gets quiet. As the commanding player continues to think with mm. lots of mana and a powerful board state. The only sounds you can really hear from everyone other than said player is the dripping of the tears from the others. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be the heartbeat. <laughs> We're here, so I'm gonna tap Dinah here. Then I'm gonna tap Wooberg, white, blue, red, black. To do Sisse. Teferi Temporal Archmage comes in, five counters. I can uptick for one to look at the top two cards in my library, put one of them in my hand, the other on the bottom of the library. I could down tick one to untap four permanents. If I get there, I can down tick 10 to get an emblem, which allows me to activate loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers at instant speed. You do right. remember that game that I played Aminatu? You do remember what happens here, right? Comes in with five. I'm going to down tick one to untap four permanents. This goes to four. Highway to four. the danger zone. Did you, you tapped her to do it twice? So are you doing oh, that first? Oh, yes, or? thank you. Hajar, loyal bodyguard, 3-3, three, three, legendary creature, human soldier. I can sacrifice Hajar, legendary creatures you control, get plus one, plus zero, and gain indestructible till end of turn. Pay one, two, blue, blue. And way of doing that to play. Tezzeret the Seeker, another Planeswalker. Comes with four counters. I can uptick uh, to untap two target artifacts. I could down tick X to search library for an artifact card with converted mana cost X or less. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. I could down tick five artifacts I control become five five artifact creatures until end of turn. So it's gonna come in with four counters. Do I smell? Um... I'm gonna down tick while you're talking. Three as a hint. Ooh. I already smell where this is going. You smell? What does it smell like? The rock smells. is cooking. <laughs> Do you smell? What the black people top out. <laughs> oh my god. Cooking. I'm gonna get this here Elsair, the Elf Stone. Copy it is the nice on brand with Lord of the Rings. Well, it does end you with the same line, but not the artifact I was thinking about. There you go, okay. Uh, it's a 3-3 three, three artifact. It says whenever a non-artifact permanent enters a battlefield under your control, you may return another permanent you control that shares a permanent type with it to its owner's hand. So now I can down tick Aminatu 1 goes to three to exile another target permanent you own, then return it to the battlefield under your control. So effectively, I can blink to fairy. This comes in, I can untap. It goes to a five though now. It goes back to five, It'll correct. Five. I can untap four permanents. You have an ETB trigger. As this enters the battlefield, I will choose Aminatu to come back into my hand. Untap four permanents. I'll Untapping down tick, four, thank so. you. I will down tick one. You're to excited. now untap. Mm -hmm. I am, I'm very excited. One, two, three, and we'll choose this one. <laughs> I can pay for Aminatu. Three. One, two, three. Play Aminatu. I can have all, I can down tick Aminatu. Yeah. Cloudstone Kirio. That's right. Cloudstone Kirio is a May ability, not to. I can untap other four permanents by down ticking to oh, fairy. You already did that. So right now, Pause, you resolve this, this, correct? Mm -hmm. And you're choosing not to bounce anything? Because I'm going to blink to fairy again. Have it come in. As Aminat um, 2 comes in, I can now blink down tick 1 to blink to fairy. Comes back in. Yep, as Trigger. LSR triggers. That's right, I can bring Aminat 2 back this into my five. hand. Thank you, sorry. So triggers. Now I can down tick 4. So to in untap. grand scheme, you end up with one extra mana because you untap 4. Correct. And Aminat 2 costs 3. That's right. And the one that I can keep choosing extra can be a it command can be, tower can be to make infinite, mm -hmm. like all color mana. I could then use that to pump into Sisse, which I would use to go get. Mm -hmm. Does that continuously or is it just the next spell? This one's only the next. The next spell. Uh, and so then I can go and tutor any legendary permanent, which case will be Mount Doom, also on theme with Lord of the Rings. There are multiple abilities. I can tap pay life to add mana. The important one is a colorless black and red to tap to do one damage to each opponent. So this is how we die. This is how, this you is die. how we die. So because cool. you just untap this one. That could be the one now that I untap with Teferi. After, use so after you use the loop to get in, to get infinite mana, you pay <clears throat> this and then you start untapping this with your loop. Correct. And, and you ping us mana. all for one. This is it, and we all agree we none of us can stop I this. Mean, I told you guys what I was gonna happen. I should have played the ring. I could have at least survived <laughs> for <laughs> one turn. I still yeah. would have lost though, yeah, but I would have had protection from everything, and I didn't yeah. pay two million for it. 
That's a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a nice I one. Well, that's a nice one. Well, Black that's nice. Magic won. You Woo! just you just pinged all of us, Woo! right? We all just literally lost the game. Oh. My time. You should have hit him. I now know. you see what happens. You're, you're afraid of your commander, uh, but we just lost. That's the what if. That's the what if. The I don't just say to punch people without just trying to save my own skin. <laughs> I know what these decks can do. Yeah, that's fair. Yes. But that was the loop though. That was the a loop. loop was that you yeah. made the infinite mana with the Amanatsu yep. and Teferi, you kept blinking and untapping, you created a bunch of mana, then you were able to have this be one of the Come four on. to keep it yeah. going. Yeah, this last set that came out was huge. So the combo combat damage, there's things you put counters and stuff like Shalai, but it's kind of clunky and whatnot, whereas this is just nice and clean. Yes. Mount Doom, hey, thank no you. We thank died you. to the fiery pits that of Mount Doom. Fair. Much like the ring <gasps> dies hey. to Mount Doom. Dude, welcome sense. to IHG. Hey, yeah, I'm glad to be here. I love the Black Magic deck. Hey, I'm I glad didn't. to see Black you. Black Magic, <laughs> you already know. It was yeah, cool that you. you got to be on theme and still build an incredibly powerful deck, yeah. you know, within all the constraints that you put on it, which is pretty sweet. No, I, I appreciate it and thank you for having me, for having us. Yeah. And folks watching, I know there's so many misplays. Kara and I literally, we play <laughs> magic, just her and I. That's what we do to connect at the end of the night. But this is go to sleep, so happy we're learning. Yeah, yeah, we killed right. you with Mount Doom. I would never think Are of it. Are you sure you're happy? <laughs> <laughs> I am. He's it's okay, happy. Mount Doom is uh, oh, fine, yes. it's fine. Black Blasting lava all over our Whoa. faces. <laughs> Fiery lava love. Ooh, <laughs> yes! Flint. That's how it's gonna be. Flint. Flint. <laughs> Oh, I didn't Don't. even think about it. I didn't even think about mean? all that. What you, what, 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 anyway, what, what this is where we here? cut. What am I missing here? <laughs> hey, Maybe it's just because I'm well, in the gut. My mind lives you're in the, the gut. So. But you had a good time. Oh, it was fun. It was fun to play. And I, I, at least I was a threat at one point. That's all I wanted. I so. thought I yeah. was dead oh, yeah. to you multiple times. But then so we I did my thing. But as Ailey said, we needed, yeah. to, we needed to gang up. Um, I didn't want to play this because it costs mana. Absolutely. You know, the Peacekeeper sure. was huge MVP yeah. for you. And all your wars and protection, and, the, and then yes, the Ristic. I mean, yeah. you built a board state that was strong, and you were able to stay in command. And if we were to play you again, I think we'd all understand Arch Enemy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all I don't know about that. Or, or maybe I should just play something with a little bit more spice, because, you know, spicy. how many cards did you tutor for? Nine? Uh, the double, oh. the double with. Yeah, there was yeah, a lot of tutoring. Up. There was constant. This is tutoring. a tutor deck. I think I brought like a pea shooter. <laughs> <laughs> but you can play. Oh, I heard eight and a half. I think, I think this is it's around there. Thank, thank you for the good games. Yeah, thank you for the good games. Come on! <laughs> All right, this month. Boom! <laughs> thank, <laughs> thanks for the good games. Hey, every other Friday, make sure you check out I Hate Your Deck. Peace. If you want to support I Hate Your Deck, please consider joining our Patreon. It's an excellent community that we have built with people from around the world where we play magic in our Discord using Spell Table. If you haven't had a chance to play online magic yet, try out our Discord. It's a great community where people are gaming daily. And every Thursdays we have Commander Day where people play all day and night, but the community's gotten so big, Commander Day is almost every day at I Hate Your Deck. I Hate Your Deck would like to thank our sponsor, No Pulp Media. It's where we're shooting right now, and it's where a lot of people come to record music or do podcasts. So if you're looking to do that, check out No Pulp Media here in Long Beach. Hey, it's time for the random Patreon shoutouts. I'd like to thank Robin Wilkinson, Owen Werner, and Joshua Tedisco. If you want a shout out, you need to be a tier four or tier five patron where we give shout outs. Now we love all of our patrons, but it's just one of the perks of being a tier four or tier five patron. Without you patrons, we wouldn't be where we are today and we wouldn't be able to keep making content. So thank you so much for helping us make this show a reality. And we're really excited to keep bringing you great content for the years to come. I can't wait to be able to bring my son on the channel once he gets old enough, let me tell you. I hate your deck. Wizards of the West Coast, tapping out and slinging spells. Wizards of the West Coast. Tapping out and slinging spells. I hate your deck. Wizards of the West Coast. I hate your deck.
answer to the rest first. I hate your deck. Join the I Hate Your Deck Patreon exclusive Discord to get the various benefits and be able to play Commander daily with people from around the world in our global community.